Okay, so hi Penny. Hi Sarah, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm really, really happy to be sharing your flower story me with too. many, many people today. So let me just introduce myself. My name is Sarah Estelle Turner. I am the founder of the Essentially Flowers Diploma in Flower and Vibrational Essences. And I'd love to introduce you all today to the graduate of the diploma, Penny Swan. Now, we were just checking in before we started recording, Penny, and you graduated in 2017, you said. I did, yes. Did. Yeah, absolutely. I think I remember that because you joined us on the diploma just as we moved to France, I think. That's right. Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. So we did the first weekend retreat all together. That was special. Yeah, that's right. You you came over here to Bordeaux, didn't you? Yeah. 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 So, so today is a chance for you to share about you and about how essences have helped you and continue to help you. Okay. So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I'm Penny Swan. I live in North Devon, um, right by the beach, which is rather special. Uh, I've got two daughters. Uh, so we live together, myself and my two daughters. Um, and I did the diploma in 2017, um, finished it in 2017. And I've literally only just um, kind of started putting myself out there with my website nearly ready. So basically I'm at Bloom Essences and this is a start for me. This is a big deal for me. This is a start of my putting myself out there after the three years since finishing my diploma. You know, it's taken me that long and life's carried on doing its usual thing. So it's only now, with the help of uh, Retreat 2020, um, I've had the space and the time to actually put into, you know, birth in my business and creating essences and all those things that I've wanted to do, but life has kind of got in the way. Um, so yeah, for me, this is kind of a big start, this Thank little you. meeting with you, because it's the time I'm actually going out there with my, with my business and starting to do this flower essence thing professionally. Brilliant. Because I've used them, as you know, for a really long time. You have, haven't you? When did you first start taking essences? I was 17. So um, it's nearly 30 years now since I took first took essences. And um, yeah, and I think it was just, again, divine timing in 2015 when I started the course. That was the start of my journey to putting myself out there, as it were. But like I said, I've used them for, yeah, 30 years now of my life. So when I was 17 and I first, it was a friend actually who'd been to see, I think, a homeopath about a thyroid issue or something. Um, but she'd introduced her to essences. And um, basically, I went to see this home. I'd used Rescue Remedy, actually, in college. I think, you know, I had a few good friends who were also into um, the same kind of things as I was. And I think Rescue Remedy was the very first thing I tried um, for exam nerves or whatever someone said at the time. Um, and then I went to see a homeopath because I was, I was in a bit of a low place at college. I didn't fit in. Um, went to see a homeopath who actually used bush flower essences as well. And as I said, I'd used Rescue Remedy and been aware of batch essences vaguely. And we had a health shop, really good health shop near my college. So we'd go in and just have a little look and read through what all the essences did. Um, but my first proper introduction was using the bush essences with this homeopath. So again, I was, think I was only 17, 18. And I was depressed. I think I'd been to the doctors. I was in a funk. I'd been on Prozac for like a month, um, didn't like that at all. And then I spoke to my friend, she'd cured this thyroid condition, saved herself from surgery. And so I went to see the homeopath to help me through this problem. And she, she, um, she was an amazing lady and she brought out the bush essence cards towards the end of the thing. So she kind of, mainly a homeopath, but it was a tool she used. And I remember just looking at these cards with these flowers and just being blown away because they are beautiful flowers, aren't they? And the cards are pretty special. And I'd never seen a flower deck or anything before. So 
that was my actual introduction when I was 17, 18. And I believe the first essence in that first consultation with my homeopath was Silver Princess. So that was very interesting because that was probably trying to nudge me back then when I was 17, 18. Because <laughs> uh, it's the essence for, you know, your life direction and all that kind of thing. So that was interesting. But that was basically the first bush essence I ever took. Um, and from then on in, that was it. I literally bought the whole range so I think by the time I'd started with you in 2015 I'd just built up over the years a whole the whole range of bush essences and the whole range of batch essences just by you know at, at all different times needing all these different remedies and for other people so for the last 25 30 years I've been just I've been treating people, but obviously not getting paid for it. <laughs> but if I had a pound for every year, essence bottle I've sent, I've given out to friends, family, pets, friends of friends over the years, I'd be pretty well off, I think, by now. So I've actually, I was using them a lot uh, before my diploma. Yeah, so they're already they've fun. supported me through so much, you know, but I was using them uh, very mechanically, if you like, not intuitively at all. So it was always right, get the bush book out, what do I need, uh, what's the matter, how am I feeling, and it was so with the repertory, you know, um, and that's why coming on the course changed everything for me. Okay, so that's interesting, isn't it? So first of all, let, let's just make sure everybody realises that we use flower essences for our emotions, and they don't, they don't, absolutely, homeopathy may be a little bit different, but yes, are, yes, it are was, emotional and, and mental, and possibly spiritual well-being, so um, yeah, so that's really cool, Penny. And it's um, I think you've got a very beautiful message here, and the sharing in that and there's nothing wrong with using repertories. I still use them. There's nothing yeah. wrong at all. But there's a shift, isn't there, when we there's start massive doing shift. That intuition? So could well, you tell yeah. everybody a little bit about how you've shifted from this kind of more let's look up in the repertory um, yeah. way of doing things to Actually, I just know. Yes. And now looking back, I know I'd known so much, but not giving myself credit for it. You know, so I was always using intuition, but not being aware that I was even doing it. So where the repertoires were coming in, I was definitely doing things intuitively, but not knowing it. But yes, yeah, so it was interesting for me. Uh, I don't know if you remember when I actually applied to do the course. Like I said, I'd used it for 25, 30 years. And I was running a cafe restaurant. That was the line of work I'd fallen into. My journey had started a few years before that when me and my husband separated. That was the massive start of my journey. And so those first few years I was, you know, I was partying hard. I was liberated, you know, I was, I was loving life for those few years, but it's very hectic. You know, I live in a seaside town. So from March to November, we're invaded with people. Um, and yeah, I think we got the, well, that was it. So from November onwards, that first year, I thought, right, blimey, I've got a few months here. I'm going to start learning how to do consultations on people so I can just start doing this. So I naively thought that I would just sign up for this course and I'd just basically be taught how to do consultations. I mean, I look back now and I think I was so naive, really. I went into it totally clueless and I had not... Flower essences were all I'd ever done. A lot of people on the course, some of them, not all of them, I guess, but most of them had other modalities, didn't they? They were massage therapists or reflexologists or, you know, they were into their crystals. So they were already trained in other areas. But for me, like I say, I was running a cafe. My life was crazy. I felt happy. I thought, I thought to be honest, I was sorted. I thought my life was good. This is how my life's going to be. I was in a pretty good place. Because uh, I, I, you know, I'd moved to this place and I loved living where I lived and the beach and it was all fabulous. So I went into the course thinking you were just going to tell me, give me loads of notes on how to just do consultations and how to make money from what I wanted to do. I had no idea <laughs> of, you know, the journey. I had absolutely no idea that we would be taking. I was so naive. I did, didn't know we'd be taking essences every month and literally journeying on an essence every month. So for me, it was just, it was something I didn't know I needed. I thought my life was pretty good and I was pretty sussed. But I look back now and it was very ego led, that life, you know. Um, and so, yeah, with the essence, 
um, course, you've got no choice but to just go through everything, you know, and the way the course is all set up with, you know, the order of the flowers and everything, obviously. Um, it's just a huge journey and it, it took me totally by surprise. Um, yeah, <laughs> how deep you go and, and the things you didn't even know were an issue for you, that's the thing. We've all got so much stuff that consciously, obviously, we don't give the time of day or don't even want to think about or whatever. So I went from thinking I was pretty sorted to going through all this stuff, you know, with all kinds of things across the board. Um, and a lot of stuff come up for me to heal and a lot of it, you know, you have to, you have to tune into yourself, obviously. And I haven't really been doing that. I've just been living life at hundred miles an hour, working 15 hour days, partying hard. I'd crash and burn every winter. I'd get ill. You know, I'd work through the heavy days of my period, feeling like death. Um, so looking back, blimey, I wasn't sorted at all. Um, and it's just shifted so much for me, shifted so much. Meeting the people you meet when you do the course, they're all like-minded souls and they're all beautiful girls. And I've made some amazing friends through it and support, obviously. Um, but it's, I just look at the world massively differently now and I'm totally on my path. Everything's changed. Within a year of finishing the course, I'd left the restaurant. I'd realised it was just so no good for me. It was soul destroying, you know, and that was the thing that life was soul destroying. I wasn't nurturing my soul at all. Um, so the year after, I think I jacked in the restaurant and I went cleaning. I just went for an easy life. You know, I just went, just got out of that business. It was so intense. And yeah, what else did I do? And I got out of a horribly toxic relationship, which was a rebound from my marriage ending. I went straight into a, a very toxic, crazy relationship there. So a lot of emotional stuff coming up. Um, but within a year of finishing the course, I had... Yeah, made two massive, massive shifts in my life. And and for the last two years, yeah, it's all about kind of, I was healing from the toxic relationship end. And as you know, I'm a renter and um, I'd moved a lot. You know, there's a lot of turmoil with where I was living. I wasn't feeling settled. So basically, yeah, the shifts and the chain of events that just last for these last three years, it's only now I'm in the place where I can... Yeah, I can honestly say I'm just in the best place of my life, probably. I'm definitely living my truth, which is just so massively important. So massively important. And I'll tell you one thing that I was totally clueless of. Like I say, you, a lot of the people on the course were aware of energy and grounding. I wasn't particularly. I hadn't done Reiki. I wasn't big into energy work. Um, but how how my how what an empath I was and how my energy got drained and so the grounding and protection bit we did in that course was massive for me because I look back at the history of my family and we're all sensitive empaths who didn't know it and there's been burnouts nervous breakdowns and I was headed that way you know that's what the course did for me it stopped me down that path of just yeah quite destructive really and not a healthy path you know not a healthy path I would get ill every winter like properly ill for a week I'd be floored and now I look back it was my energy screaming at me like you're burnt out you know my sister has suffered with energy burnouts my mom has all the women in my family pretty much the same and I can honestly say now I'm not I'm not on that trajectory at all I've totally changed how I deal with life um I cope with life so much better I mean, I take essences every day for one thing or another, or I'm on a combination, you know, so essence is literally every single day of my life for something. And they just support me constantly. Mm. Well, thank you for sharing. Sorry, I'm waffling that. a bit, but I'm trying. No, no, it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that depth of, of, of your life, Penny. I think it's, I'm listening and thinking, wow, it's just, it's really deep and it's very special to share because yeah. what I'm hearing is that oh, this is not just about taking essences or whatever it is we do is not just about taking the crystals because I think nope. 
And again, this is not a judgment and I do this too. You know, if I've got a headache, I'll go, oh, you know, we want our headache to stop, don't we? So we might try, you know, pharmaceutical stuff sometimes or yes. just take an essence and think, please headache, go away. But there's a big yes. difference in using even the energy-based modalities to kind of like cancel something out that we don't like. And what I'm hearing is, and this is, I think, what we all learn, and it's an ongoing journey for everybody, including myself, is that we learn that when we have something in our, I'm just going to use the word headache here, or anxiety or depression, instead of trying to get rid of it, we need to be with it. Oh, yes. And, it, and yes. it's being with it, it's the befriending of it, which is, can be very, very uncomfortable. And we have to Absolutely. have great compassion for ourselves. For saying, God, I I'm so why, much better why at it. I avoided this for so long. But when we make friends with those parts of ourselves, that's when the freedom comes. And that's what I'm hearing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Honestly, yeah. Um, yeah, it's for me another huge thing. Uh, this is, again, it's the good, like you say, we've all, we need tools for our self care. And that's one thing, like even a lot of my friends will say, you're so good at it now. But again, it's the course opened me up to, to heal all these bits. And now I've realized I have to, like, my self care is my top priority above the care of my kids because I can't care for my kids unless you know unless I am looking after myself and my self-care now is just amazing it's funny I've just put that as one of the question, the last question on my consultation form for people because when I ask friends family like what's your self-care routine a lot of them look at me as if I'm crazy and I've been called selfish a few times in the past uh, it doesn't bother me at all because I don't think it's a negative thing to be selfish and to put yourself first. And so now I'm just so aware that my self-care is just not my top priority. I have to work at it every day, you know, to be in a good place, to look after my kids and to put my business forward. Self-care, number one. It's not selfish. It's a necessity. So for me, it is it's essences every day. Like, number one, just always is, always has been for me. I have salt baths. I do yoga. I walk the beach barefoot. A lot of the things in the course about grounding, again, I was doing. I wasn't aware I was doing it. Uh, so I've just made sure I just implement as much in my life that is looking after my energy as possible. Because especially like a toxic relationship I was in and a lot of like my boundaries, I'm a Pisces, my boundaries are shocking. I have to protect myself. And it's just one of the things now I spread out to my friends, my family, and mainly women, because I think women are the ones that struggle with putting themselves first, especially when you've got families. Um, and so I ask them, what are you doing for your self-care? Take time out, have a salt bath, you know, go for a walk, leave, you know, whatever it takes. If you use crystals, if you like dancing, if you like singing, you know, whatever it is that fills you with joy, you've got to do that every day and be grateful for all the good things because then... It's, it, yeah, it's such a huge thing. That's what I mean. For yeah. me, it's just opened up everything. I, you know, I was always aware of the moon and I was always a stargazer, but I wasn't aware of moon cycles, which is another thing we go into on the course and how that is so like the essential part of being a woman, you know? And so now obviously I follow the cycles of the moon and I know if I'm feeling a little bit this, it will pass and you know, and the connection with everything. So and what I'm hearing, Penny, as well, is that you were doing, and this often happens, I think, is that you were already connected to these things, but you weren't quiet and still enough within yourself. And again, we are all like this to actually bring the consciousness through you. It was something yes. that you, kept, you were, was kind of outside of you, but now it's yes. not outside of you anymore. It's inside you very very much yeah and um yeah and part of my thing for my business and like i said the clients already i'm starting to attract they're really strong women who just need the permission and you the safe space to to accept that it's okay to put yourself first and to put that love into yourself because you know when I, the big thing for me as i think most people were going through the course the thing that kept coming up self-esteem just self-esteem self-worth 
I definitely come from a line of witches, I think, who have been hung and burnt and all kinds of things because, you know, that fear of putting myself out there and being ridiculed, that's a big thing. You know, we go through that a lot in the course and make you realise when all these women are saying, you know, we're all feeling the same things, that we all feel it. I just want to empower women to do this journey and put themselves first and shine their bloody light, you know, because we're all so powerful. And I, I didn't realise how powerful I was for a very big chunk of my life. You know, I settled and went on that path that, that you think is, you know, that you're told is your path. But now I'm very much um, single, happy, living my truth and living a day at a time. God, that is a huge one because that's living in the moment and that is being in your, you know, being aware of where you are right in this minute. You know, I don't, I don't, I really don't worry about the future. You know, I've got really good at, if things start to worry me, I'll just come back to now, bring it all back to now. And yeah, I'm waffling again, Sarah, sorry. You can tell I haven't talked about this for a long time. (laughs) Well, I encourage you to talk more because you're very inspiring. and uh, It's your passion that's coming through you. And what I love about, (coughs) excuse me, my own... uh, I'm very lucky that I get to witness all of this. Obviously, I've had my own journey and it's ongoing, but I get to witness all these beautiful journeys of other people that take flower essences over a longer time. Yes. What we see again and again and again is that our businesses are usually birthed from the things that we've struggled with ourselves. Very true, yeah. And by entering into this dance and dialogue with them, we, we learn to live with them. It's not that we change. Absolutely not. It's accepting those bits of beautiful, fun loving people that you said you still do all of that, but you've just renegotiated it so that you are now in your best, in your best place. And so what that means is that you now become a very authentic, uh, I could say the word leader. I don't think that's quite the (laughs) right. You become this authentic person who is able to guide other people or maybe just a few steps yes. behind you. And I think that's the lovely yes. thing. Is that exactly, yeah. You're close enough to put your hand out and go, hey, I can help you. So yes. thank you for sharing that. And I really, really hope that any other women out there who are feeling uh, the way that Penny shared, uh, hear this and know that there are ways forward. Absolutely, thank yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much. No so worries. Much. Yeah, do you have any words of wisdom for anybody who may be considering a life change or, you know, just like, what is this essence thing? And, you know, how do I start? What would you say to them if you, if there's anybody watching that doesn't know how to take their first next step? What would it be? Um, so you're talking about the course in general or essences just, just in, general? in general? Yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah, just do it. Just, you won't look back ever. Like, there's an essence for every emotion, every situation you're in. There is something to help you and you'll be guided by what you need, as we found out. And it will come to you at the right time. Divine timing is everything. Just put, you know, just do it. Take the first step, isn't it? With everything, it's little steps. You know, when you get overwhelmed, just take a little step, do it. Just take an essence open heart open mind and just see where it takes you because yeah Yeah. i don't i don't think anyone just takes one essence do they i don't know anyone who said oh yeah i took an essence once you know you take an essence once and then you realize how amazing they are supporting us and then you just tend to call upon them so just do it absolutely do it and if anyone's thinking about doing the course again open mind open heart and just go for it because you certainly won't be the same person uh, at the end of it (laughs) as you are at the start thankfully you know i often say that myself thank goodness for essences but yeah me too all the time i mean the kids have had them since they were literally probably two weeks old i mean yeah work that you're doing penny and i love now that you've made it really conscious because that's one of the big differences. 
And yes, and that was a shift that needed to happen for me because I was totally holding myself back. And I struggle with the, with the if I'm not face to face and in the same room with someone, I'm not at my best. You know, I'm very much a feeling the energy person. So on screens, I'm not good and I'm not the best at putting all my stuff on Facebook. So these are huge lessons that I'm going to be learning. And I'm taking essences to help me with all these new stuff that I'm having to do. Things I'm not very comfortable with, yeah. but the things that are necessary. That's my next barrier to get across. Well, we've done this today. To put myself out there to help. <laughs> We've done this today and this, this uh, recording will live on and we've done some good work. So thank you very, very much, Penny. I've really enjoyed hearing this. And although I know you quite well, I've heard some things today that have helped me and I'm oh, sure that they will good. also help others who listen. So thank you very, oh, very much. Oh, I hope so. Okay. Thank you. So lovely to see you. Bye-bye.